Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog video. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a lifetime. It actually feels a bit foreign to me right now. We are back for another home vlog today. It is a lovely weekend. I thought we could just spend it together. I've got a few bits to do. I've got some exciting deliveries. I've got one coming up between 1.22 and 2.22 today from DPD, which is something super exciting for the house. It may be two things, but I think it's being sent in separate packages, so it'll be at least one very exciting thing. I've also got back from the US, which you guys would have seen if you followed me over on Instagram, so I wanted to take you upstairs after we've made a cup of tea and show you some of the American goodies that I picked up and all the fun, fun stuff. Honestly, you guys, I haven't spoke about it too much, but the trip was unreal like i said if you followed me over on instagram at the time the stories and everything i was posting every day even now i look back on them i made a highlight on my um on my main page on my main feed that's called las vegas if you do if you miss them and you want to see what the trip's like and if you're thinking of going to vegas yourself i highly recommend you do it was probably the best holiday of my entire life. It was the most expensive holiday of my entire life. But honestly, like America, I am just in love with America. I always have been, like since I went to Chicago back in those days. If you guys have been here since the Chicago vlogs, wow. But yes, hopefully we'll be going back to Vegas, not in the not too distant future. Um, so I was thinking, I mentioned to you guys when I was there, me and Andy do have incredible opportunities to be able to work around the world. And it was something that I thought about of maybe doing like a US series where I'll be going to America for like one week of the year and we can film like all the come shot of me, but in Target and Bath and Body Works and Sephora and like all the different stores. And I think that that could actually work really well on my channel so that is something I'm manifesting that is something I'm going to try and make happen but like I said let me make a cup of coffee let's head upstairs and I want to show you some of these American goodies that I picked up because I know you all want to see we all love a little bit of a USA haul okay my tea is made and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up in the US I've also got a couple of bits over here that I got for my birthday because it was my birthday on the 26th of May and then we went off to the US on the 29th. So I'm just gonna really like really quickly run through it. But as I said, Vegas was absolutely incredible. One of the first things I got is actually a Alex and Arnie bracelet. So again, for my birthday, Andy never ended up getting me anything because we usually, or last year, we went to the outlets in Swindon and he just takes me shopping on my birthday, which works well for both of us. He doesn't like to think of presents and he doesn't like to wrap stuff and I like shopping trips. So that is what we have done. Um, but obviously this year, because we were in the US, I said, honestly, like that's a waste of the trip. Let's go to the outlets in Vegas because they've got two amazing outlets. So a lot of the stuff I'm about to show you is from outlets initially. And then basically it's Target and Bath and Body Works. So the first thing I got is this Alex Nani bracelet. It is so, so beautiful. We then went into Under Armour. I only got one thing in there, which is some training gloves. I actually really needed these. Then went in Nike, and I did end up picking up a pair of new gym trainers, but they're downstairs because they were very much needed and have been used already this whole week back. But I ended up picking up this oversized hoodie, which obviously I don't tend to wear bright colors anymore. In summer though, I'm really wanting to wear those bright colors. So I tried this on and it just fits so nice. It's got a little Nike logo there on the hood. And I don't know, I just really liked how simple the design was. And then I just got a basic workout top as well. This is something that is not like what I actually bought, although I did buy it. We ended up going to the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum, which was just, amazing i'm a massive massive fan of ghost adventures anyway and um if you like anything to do with the paranormal or you're just interested in it honestly it's a bucket list place you need to go uh, but i ended up getting a t-shirt um because i upgraded to like the vip package when we were there um, there's like the basic general entry and then there's a VIP where you get to go into different rooms that you don't, wouldn't usually get to go into on the normal package. Um, I was kind of suckered into it. As soon as I arrived, I bought general admission, but then I was like, they obviously do a little bit of a spill of like, if you want to, you can upgrade because you get to do this, this and this. And I was like, take my money. They were also like, you get a free t-shirt. And that's when I was sold basically. Um, then moving on back to the outlets, my new favorite place in the whole entire world even though the logo doesn't say it there. My new favorite place 
to shop in America is Francesca's. If you haven't heard of Francesca's, it like I, I haven't before I got there. It is honestly such a cute boutique. I really loved it. So I ended up picking up three bits when I was there. This one has got no tags on it because I've already worn it loads when I was out there. It's a really cute little black romper. I then ended up going back for this white dress. I put it back and then I kept thinking about it. Um, but it's just this really nice flowy, you know, sort of waterfall style dress with a little tie waist as well. So ended up picking that one up. I think those were about $20 a piece. Their, their RRP is about 56. And then I also picked this one up because it was in the clearance section. Um, it was reduced to $24. And I think there was an additional 50% off as well. I absolutely love America for stacking coupons. But it's just this really cute little ditzy dress. I'm trying to go through this really quick because I'm conscious that this video is like a home vlog. And like spend day with me. So I hope you guys enjoy this anyway. It is really interesting stuff and really fun stuff I got. And if you like USA foods, we're about to move on to Target. Andy did think I was a mad woman when we went to Target. Because we literally got a taxi like outside of the like touristy bit to a massive target and I got like a cart and I did like a big food shop he's like you're the only person I know who goes on holiday to do a food shop and the treats are so good in the US how can you not so obviously the first thing I picked up is some craft macaroni and cheese a dollar a box I also ended up picking up the hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni and cheese that just looked amazing of course we got some graham cracker s'more goldfish I did get some Hidden Valley Ranch dressing because ranch is my literal new favourite thing. I don't want to think about how many calories are in it, but it tastes amazing. And then I know this is kind of weird, but I picked up a ton of packets of instant mashed potatoes. Because there is something about the American mashed potatoes, and I mean, look at this. Butter and herb, roasted garlic, four cheese, and another four cheese. We've just got smash here. Like, they just know what they're doing. I then also never had, when I was out there, a piece of cornbread. I was meant to, but honestly, you cannot just, it's not like going into Starbucks and ordering a piece of banana bread that's like a normal size portion. If you order a piece of cornbread, it's like a friggin' loaf of bread. And there was literally never any point on my holiday where I was hungry, because we were just constantly eating. So when we went out, I did grab one of the um, cornbread and muffin mixes. So I'm going to try and make my own cornbread here. I'm sure it won't be as great as one of the diners out there, but, I'll take it. This was literally a dollar. These are also my new favorite obsessions, which I'm going to have to Google to see if we can get here. If not, I'm gonna use Ship It To um, to definitely grab these. Um, this is the Pillsbury Mini Double Chocolate Cookies. They also do the regular cookies. They are amazing. I picked these up at like the petrol station. And then back in Target, they also have the Betty Crocker Treat Mugs. And this one is the Rainbow Chip Cookie Mix. And you literally just pop it in a mug, put it in the microwave, I think, and you've got a dessert. So I love all of these things. It really annoys me because we've got Betty Crocker here. We've got the brands like Pillsbury. We do have some Pillsbury here, but we just don't get these goodies. Then just like other things in Target I picked up was just some of these press on nails. I was actually supposed to put these on when I was there, but I didn't end up having time. And then I also got the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. I love this. I've used it up so many times and it is honestly amazing. And then I also got some... Oh, I haven't had one of these yet. I might have one today. These are the Little Debbie's Marshmallow Pies. Banana Pies, sorry. I actually haven't tried this yet. I also got the Honey Buns, which I gave to my nan and gramp to try. I bought these because I needed them when I was there as well. I got an EOS uh, Shave balm again we have eos here we don't have this that's really really nice and i needed a shampoo and conditioner so i got the garnier fructis fr fr fructis fructis i don't know i used to use this stuff i had a hair mousse from them so um i ended up picking up this double pack i think it was 5.99 for both of them and then the final thing i picked up in target is a physician's formula butter bronzer i've seen this for ages again we struggle to get physician's formula here there wasn't a ton of stuff that was screaming out to me but i really wanted this i think it was around 14.99 15.99 
I then did just pick up some touristy stuff. I got some shot glasses for Kyle and Henry. I got some dice. I have to show you these. I got some dice that were um, from Haraz Casino. So you can see on there that it says it was actually played in a casino. So they're pink dice. I just thought they were really cool to have. We loved playing craps when we were out there. If you ever go to the US and you are a little, you know, you want to dabble in gambling, definitely learn how to play craps. And I seen this in the souvenir shop and I actually had to go back and get it because I kept thinking about it. It is just a little Christmas decoration, randomly enough. I loved it. It was this pack of cards and on the back it says Las Vegas. Um, I'm going to cut off this red bow and put on some jute and I want this for my Christmas tree this year. Yes, that's how obsessed I am with Christmas. I'm already thinking about Christmas. Last few things I ended up picking up was at Morphe. I've already given my mum a lip liner and an eyebrow, angled eyebrow pencil that I bought her. Um, but for myself, I just picked up the little uh, brow powder in chocolate mousse. This was reduced to something stupid like $3, so I bought that. It's just a brow powder. Chocolate mousse is the darkest colour they do as well, because you guys know I love a dark brow. I wish I picked up more from Morphe as well. We do have Morphe stores here. I think the closest one to me is Birmingham. Um, so it's really easy to get. It's slightly cheaper in the US though, obviously, because it is an American brand. But I ended up picking up this as well, which was actually reduced. Um, I wasn't planning on getting all of this stuff for my brows, but as it was reduced, I did. This is the Morphe Arch Obsessions five piece brow kit. I got it in the color Latte. Um, and inside, as you can see, it comes with a few different things. So you get the angled brush with the spoolie, you get a highlighter, you get the brow gel, you get the sharp brow pencil. This is actually what I went in to get because I, I needed one, I was running out. And then you also get a clear brow gel as well. So this I think was reduced to something like $10 for all of it and the brow pencil on its own I was gonna buy was six. So I was like, I have to get this. So that was everything I picked up everywhere else in the US. And then of course, I went to Bath and Body Works. I am feeling this now. And I'm like, how did I get that back in my case? To be fair, I did book a whole other case to come back because I knew it would be bad. So I ended up picking up, obviously, candles. We're gonna start with that. I picked up a couple of small ones because I signed up to the Bath and Body Works coupon emails while I was there um, and they emailed me through coupons every day. So they had one that came through that was like today only $6 single wick candles. So I went in store and I picked up a couple of these. I did pick up a black cherry Merlot as well, which I gave to my mum. But I ended up getting the Pear Creme Brulee, which I haven't heard of before and hadn't seen, but loved the smell of this. And then this is my new favorite obsession. Apart from fresh baked bread which will always be my number one from bath and body works which is limited edition and then of course mahogany teak wood is my favorite this is my summer scent mahogany coconut it is divine it is actually absolutely stunning if you know what mahogany teak wood smells like which smells like abercrombie and fitch um throw in some coconut I then got the Slate um, Antibacterial Hand Spray. I've never had a hand spray before. I've always had the pocket backs. Um, so obviously I did pick up some pocket backs as well. I got Marble, Slate again, and uh, my favorite, Stress Relief, um, which is Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I got a Ocean for my dad, and then Mahogany Teakwood, of course. So I have got a few of my hand sanitizers. And then the large wick candles, I picked up three of these guys. This one was on reduction on the last day I went, so I picked it up. I think it was $16, maybe less than that. So um, I ended up picking this one up. It is Tiki Beach, and as you can imagine, it smells of pineapples, coconuts, and vanilla. And then the other two that I got was the Mahogany Teakwood Intense. You can't go wrong with this. It's a classic one, and the Intense is the best. And then this one I picked up last minute because I do love my sweet smells. This is a berry waffle cone and I just love the illustration on it and the smell. It's crazy how you can actually smell like wafer, like the wafer of an ice cream. I mean, nothing compares to Bath and Body Works. I always used to say, I wish Bath and Body Works came to the UK. And I know that Next are selling some of them. They're selling them for stupid prices though. It's honestly cheaper to probably buy these from the US and use Ship It To or a forwarding service to get them. I can't, it just takes away the magic for me, the prices that they're charging in the UK. Oh my God, that's insane. I've always said I wanted it to come here, but honestly, I think part of me, I think the reason it stays so magical is because I can't get it. So whenever I go somewhere that I can, it's just, 
it's magical being inside. I just love it. And then the next bag is full up of hand soaps because now I have a house with three bathrooms. We get through a lot of hand soap and I always want them to be very nice hand soaps. So started off with picking up two of the mahogany teak wood, of course. I then got the pistachio cream puff, which I've never seen before. This is in the foaming one as well. This is the deep cleansing. I also got the turquoise waters, which I thought was very fitting for summer. And then I did get the firecracker fizz because it was the America special edition one, I think for, I don't know, if it, 4th of July. I don't know, maybe these had, the, had them out early for 4th of July. Then also got a boardwalk, boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I do get sucked in with the illustrations. And again, this smells very similar to that candle, but not very vanilla. I wish I did pick up more of these because how perfect is this to my aesthetic? It's neutral and it's mahogany coconut. I wish I picked up more of these. This was literally reduced to like $3.50 as well. Kicking myself that I didn't now. I knew I would, but... I think even if I picked up three, I'd be annoyed I didn't pick up six. That's just how it works in my brain. And then I also got the mahogany coconut, but in the foaming hand wash, deep cleansing, and then the foaming, but I do prefer this. It's so pretty. But with the deep foaming ones, you can reuse the packaging, so I can just decant something into here even though it won't quite be the same so that is everything that i picked up in the us and then i'm just going to move on to literally a couple of things that i got for my birthday my nan bless her my my nan and gramp did me for my birthday this absolutely gorgeous hamper now i love the basket itself like i wish this had a handle because i would actually use it as a picnic basket but when i opened it up she had basically made like her own white company hamper for me because she was like what can i get you i said literally anything on the white company she seen the white company hampers and she decided to make her own so but also customized it to put more stuff in there that i love like she even had all of this like the flower prettily put there and everything i'm gonna literally cut this down and put it in a stem vase like a hinge um out i think this is an outdoor yeah scented outdoor candle so i got a pillar candle from the hinge range as well she then got me the sea salt um what's this called oil i use these in my diffuser downstairs i just i collect these they're so good for 10 pounds they last way longer than a candle so if you're thinking of getting into the white company honestly like don't buy these candles because although they're beautiful like they are 25 pounds a piece i think which honestly is not worth it you can buy 10 pounds in this last way longer and you can still get the scent through then got me the nourish intense hand treatment and the summer sea salt which is summer which is sea salt bay and samphire home spray so i've got the fireside home spray i haven't got a summer one from the white company or a summer scented one like even seychelles or anything so this is absolutely perfect and she also got some potpourri because she knew it was in fitting of my theme so i love this it's beige a bit of gray a bit of neutral a bit of brown love it and then finally she got me or i say she obviously her my gramp of course got me the sea salt um bath and body gift set so in here comes the lotion and the shower gel as well and then the final item before we actually get into hopefully my delivery will be coming any minute actually so this has worked out quite well all of this time sorry i know it's been like 20 minutes we've been talking but the last thing she got was the only thing i put on my wish list which is a absolutely stunning pampas vase now this is from a french interior design company if you have seen any of the um instagram sorry not instagram the yeah sorry instagram businesses that sell pampas Nine times out of 10, you will see their pampas in this vase. It's not the cheapest vase in the world, but oh my goodness, can you hear that? It is super thin glass, it's delicate, and it is the most perfect bottleneck. But apart from that, guys, I am going to pop all of this stuff away because I have got a day of filming today. I've got a few jobs to do. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna wait for the delivery. Hey, Squeaks, what are you doing? <laughs> So, one video down, one to go. I, I'll tell you what guys, please don't ever underestimate how much work goes into a try on haul. Like, 
thank goodness Andy was home. I just had to ask for his assistance on a few dresses. Um, I just found my cup she haul, which you would have seen before this video, so it has been live already. I was generally overall really impressed. I give an honest review in the video, but there's just a couple of items, like why, and it's not just cup she, this is not directed at them, but why is it that like all these beautiful silk dresses and stuff use those tiny little zips with the tiny little handle? And it's just it makes it 10 million times harder to get on. Plus, I like I learnt my lesson. Don't leave the satin dresses till the end because I was so hot. Today is so hot. It's like, although it's gloomy outside, it is like yesterday was 30 degrees. Um, and today, yeah, is still over 20. So I am absolutely boiling. I have also just ate a sandwich, so I also need to remember to stop doing that, doing try on hauls right after I eat because I'm somebody who bloats very easily, so like I physically bloat out. So I'm just making a cup of tea and I'm making an Andy a coffee. I'm gonna have a little break and then the next video is super chilled anyway. Right, I'm gonna make my, make, I was about to say make my cheese because I've seen the cheese board. I'm about to make my tea, I'm gonna make Andy's and then do some emails then crack on to the next video. Totally also forgot I was supposed to tell you, made my tea now anyway, but we had a delivery. So yeah, this is one of the deliveries. There is another bigger one to come, um, but why don't we unbox this while I'm having a little break? Yeah, this literally came like so quick. The order was only placed yesterday. So this is from a really cool company. Mind your nose with my scissors. This is from a really cool company called Homery. Oh my goodness, the most extra home brand you have ever seen. Honestly guys, if you've got any gold in your interior, you are going to want to check out this website. Then they had a few odd pieces like this one that I picked up. Uh, no, Jerry loves polystyrene. Well, this is what I picked up. <laughs> Doesn't look like much here, but oh wow. It's like a rustic. I kind of like that, you know, it's better than black. Anyway, it's a ceiling light. Uh, this is the base of it. Oh gosh. This is the base of it here. Really not going to do it any favors. I'm going to have to construct this and then show you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and construct this and then come back and show you guys. So that was not the relaxing tea break that I thought it was. My tea went cold, I had to make another. So I am now just having a break because I went to go put together that light thinking it would be quick and easy. No. I have never ever in my life encountered such a complicated light. Um, but the results are finally, it is made up. So this is the chandelier that I picked up from Homery. It is a rustic style wooden whitewash chandelier. It literally has six bulbs. So this is gonna be so bright. This thing is so big. Jerry, come here. Come stand next to the light. For some reason, Jerry's terrified of the light, but there's Jerry and there's the light. It is big. This is supposed to be going in my beauty room. Um, it is going to take up the whole room, but we love it. It's bright, it's big. I know Andy's gonna hate this, so it definitely needs to go in a room that is mine, but I think I put it together right. I have no idea. It was the most complicated thing to put together, and I'm not gonna lie, the instructions made no sense. It wasn't even a step-by-step. It was very complicated, um, but nevertheless, you put it together once, it's made up, so it's done now. But yeah, this could look really nice in the spare bedroom. Don't you just love a Sunday? <laughs> gonna sleep well tonight. Finally, we are finally using the outdoor again. But actually, this is the first time mum and dad have got to sit down on it after yeah, complete. <laughs> completing the decking and actually today is a bit of an awkward day it's about 16 degrees as you can see it's not the nicest day but it's dry so we've actually taken the wind guard off of this and it's giving off a really nice heat and it's so pretty so i've got the sunday roast in the oven got me a white company perfect perfect housewife looking <laughs> pinny thing on um we've got five minutes left on the food and then we're gonna have our first sunday roast outside we're trying. 
we're really, really trying with this weather. <laughs> Obviously, I mentioned this set in my last um, video, which was the video where we did the garden was the last time I showed you it but we've been using this now for a few weeks me and Andy and I'm absolutely obsessed with it so this is the white stores Cambridge square fire pit table set I will link it down below I've also got an exclusive discount code for you guys so you can get a great deal for this summer but look how gorgeous that is and like I said it does come with that glass wind guard as well so it seats about what is it four five six seven eight nine people very comfortably but you could definitely fit a lot more so i absolutely love this and look at the rattan on it it's fantastic quality mum's um really wanting one herself yes. <laughs> discount code <laughs> Don't you just love having a washing day when the weather is like this outside and it is the middle of summer. Got to put a white wash on, nice big white wash. I'm going in all my white company stuff. I also use this, which is actually really good. Um, as you can see, it's from Primark and it is the pre-wash stain remover. And I just like basically drench everything that's got stains on it and it does a pretty good job and i love how fine the mist spray is but on the other hand upstairs i picked up the crease releaser and it's in the same bottle and the spray is broken so i can't use it so i'm waiting to finish this up until i can just decant it into this bottle but i'm gonna go ahead and put a white wash on so i just show you guys what i use in my wash just in case you are interested so for my detergent, I actually use the Persil Non-Bio. But because I wash on a low degree, I always use the Dettol laundry cleanser. This one is the one that's got lavender infused in it. I decant it into these bottles, which are from Ikea. Um, but I honestly find that this is the most cost-efficient way. You can get a huge bottle of this stuff from... Uh, like Home Bargains and B&M for literally about £5, I think. So it really is... That costs a lot less than paying for the energy to heat that up to a high degree. And then of course for whites, I have to use Vanish. I absolutely love the Vanish White Oxy Action. I wouldn't be without it. Finally, in summer, I've been using my favorite Lenore Ocean Breeze Summer. I picked this one up, I think, last year, and I just so happen to have it in my storage section, but I love this one. I'm usually Lenore Blue all the way. That's our classic one, the one we've got in our softener bottle over there. I buy that in the giant ones, but in summer, I absolutely love the Ocean Breeze because it is so, so nice smelling. It's beautiful. So I just pop that one on. On this one, I put it on a mix. 20, we're gonna do normal, and we'll get it on the go. You just gotta love, you've just gotta appreciate, I guess, not necessarily love, because we do live in the UK, but you've got to appreciate a rainy day. You really do, because we're having a home day today. It's Saturday, it's not the best day, you know, it would be nice to go out and about, but save money, be productive, stay home. You just gotta look on the bright side of everything. So we're having a bit of a home day today. As you've seen, just put on a wash. We've got that going in the background. Um, I'm just about to prepare some slow cooker lamb, a joint of lamb I've got. And I've just got an idea that I'm thinking. So I'm thinking like lamb pasta tonight. Like, I'm not too sure. I wanna slow cook the lamb. But what I'm thinking of doing is trying to do like a two-in-one situation. So whenever I share like anything on Instagram to do with food, you guys always ask to see it. Nine times out of ten, I don't film it because it could go, it could be an absolute disaster. I just tend to make stuff up um, or just follow a recipe, which then technically is not mine. So I don't feel like I can share it. What I'm thinking of doing is putting the slow cooker, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to show you while I'm doing it. So I've got my trusty slow cooker. I use this thing all the time honestly if you have your own household and you don't have a slow cooker like do yourself a favor i will leave a link down below to amazon thinking of literally 
making the pasta sauce underneath the lamb as it's cooking because obviously the meat like getting all that flavor out of the meat would be awesome the thing is with lamb unfortunately it's super fatty so it works quite well doing it in a slow cooker because that layer of fat kind of separates so i always tend to set, take that off before i do anything with it when it's finished cooking so what i'm going to do is i've got these leftover tomatoes so these are going to be the base of the dish so i'm just going to chop them up really quite big into like quarters. I've also got some shallots, so I'm gonna put a few shallots in, and then I'm gonna put in a onion as well, and I don't know if I'm gonna go for white or red, I'm thinking white. And then I'm just gonna put in loads of cloves of garlic, like three or four cloves, just in the bottom, just peeled, um, and then I'm gonna leave it. Jerry, trust me, you don't wanna go outside, mate. And then that's gonna be the bed, I'm gonna put the lamb on top. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, so basically that's gonna be the bed, of the what the lamb's going to sit on i'm going to let it slow cook all day and then the hope is that the lamb will be cooked on top all of the juices would have gone down into the vegetables i can separate the fat and then there'll also be like a lot of water like basically broth from the lamb of the water that's in it and i'm hoping to then literally just add some tomato paste blend it all up and i should have a tomato sauce in theory so I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to do it on a time lapse with you guys, prepping it all, popping it in, and tonight I guess you will see if it worked or not. it on turn it on low leave it for i don't know till what time is it now it's 11 18 i'll probably leave it till about seven o'clock literally let it cook away slowly and you could literally do this with any meat of your choice really because i'm going to take the lamb out itself because it's a joint when it's done and then just work the sauce and then work the lamb sliced up into it so while that's cracking on what i decided i wanted to do with today was basically i feel like i really need to sort out all of my kitchen cupboards and storage well most of them anyway it's mainly like the food cupboards like in here so i did start organizing them so i bought all these bins and stuff because i got a little bit carried away watching the home edit if you don't watch that on netflix just watch it. So I ended up buying loads of these plastic storage bins. I've got them in all the different levels, but it literally feels like at this point, I just don't even know what food I've got. It's not great. I am such a person who is moving my lifestyle to what I buy I want to use rather than the mentality of stocking up. I'm only allowing myself to stock up on stuff that I know for a fact that we get through very quickly, AKA milk. Ooh, like that. See, I've just realized I've got a chili and cheese bread mix here might make bread today completely forgot i even had that so that's what i mean we've got to go through the cupboards i just want to reorganize i've got like these basket things which i showed you guys are from home bargains before these are amazing for adding extra storage to my cupboards and then obviously just like loads of tins and some stuff you know what like even in these things they might even be out of date so i just want to go through have a real good cleanse of the cupboards i mean the fact that they're all multiple colors i don't think i'm ever going to get it to the home edit stage but i'm okay with that i just want them in a very good order also my baking cupboard um that's just gone a bit out of control um and then we have like the snack cupboard just no organization whatsoever and this one's probably the most organized like that's kind of as good as it's gonna get i've got biscuits that need containers and then all my jars that need sorting out as well so it's just a load of stuff that needs to be done and i just feel like i needed a good hour or so to do it so before i do that as well though i want to pop upstairs because i went to home bargains yesterday the day before and i picked up a few things and i thought i'd just show you in this vlog rather than doing a separate haul because i don't have enough so let's just go upstairs and i'll show you what i picked up so like i said i only popped in the other day with my nan and i just ended up picking up a few things that were like i just thought were I, it, like essentials i was going to go and try and get more storage but the one i went to it was a small home bargains and there wasn't really enough in there so i think i managed to pick up a few pieces of storage but not a lot I finally found a nice outdoor jug thing. This is part of their outdoor living range. 
and I just really liked it, it was a really big tumbler. I was looking for one of these for my housewarming party for the kids to just do a bit of squash in, couldn't find it in time. This was $3.99 and I absolutely love the design and I love that it's clear as well because so many summer things like the outdoor dining um, like plastic cups and stuff, they're all multiple coloured and I really, for me, that's just not a vibe. I also picked Jerry up some of his favourite treats. These are the um, Chester's Meaty Chew Duck Fillets. They're 100% natural duck meat. I think this packet is around £3. They haven't had them in for ages. They've only had the chicken. So I picked this one up for him because he really loves those. And then I just got some of these skewer sticks. I got some more of my um, vitamin C and zinc. I live with this stuff. Honestly guys, if you suffer from hangovers, which I know most of us do, but if you Honestly, or somebody like me, like I don't drink that often. Like I drink on the weekends, if you know what I mean, but like I don't drink a lot. But if then I did have a weekend where I happen to have a party or we have drank a lot, take one of these before you go to sleep, like dissolved in just a bit of water. Honestly, it really, really freaking helps. I just picked up these um, dual cells black, never seen them before. Raspberry flavoured macaroons. Now, I picked these up because, oh, there's only four in here. I didn't even realise that. It was only 99p. I would have picked up a couple if I got knew that. Anyway, um, I picked up these because my friend is having a baby girl and I'm going to do her a really nice pink cake. So I've got this beautiful topper, but I wanted some pink things for the top. And obviously you can't really find like pink chocolate. They do like the wafers and stuff, but I don't think that'd be nice on a cake. So I happened to find these and I thought they were cute. I were hoping, was hoping they'd be lots of little ones, but it'll be fine. I might just like cut them in half and do half crescents round. I like baking. I like getting, you know, experimented with it. And then on that same note, I also picked up some of the Jane Asher edible glitter. I got this one in white, but I picked up the pink again, just to do the cake, just for a bit of fun. These are, I think about 59p, 69p. But by the way, the Chester's duck fillet things, they were 3 dollars They're actually four pounds for them anyway. Okay, so I then picked up a couple of storage jars. I got these two here. Now I loved that they were the obviously alternative sizes and I'm thinking downstairs my biscuit tin is the big version of these I can't remember if I got the biscuit tin though in home bargains it's not tin glass sorry I don't remember if I got it in home bargains or B&M or Ikea so I don't actually know if it matches it identically it doesn't matter either way because I'll use these for some more storage so the big one was £3.49 and the little one was only £1.99 and the little one's still a hefty size so I loved those I do wish I had like an a kitchen where I could be super aesthetic, like practicality goes all out the window and aestheticness, aestheticness? You know what I mean, basically is everything. Anyway, so I've got those in the hopes to do something like that. And the reason that they're also really good is they aren't just for display, they actually are practical because they're airtight. The biscuit jar I've got is amazing. My mum copied me because she was like, perfect. That's like the best biscuit jar you could find. And then finally for downstairs, I have finally found again the Home Bargains um, decorative glass jar. This is the big one. This is the $7.99 one. I haven't seen this in there for so, so, so long. And I went in the little one and I found this. They had four in stock, which was awesome. It's the 30 centimeter one. So this is the little one they do, which I happen to have up here. I think this is the 25 centimeter and this is 6 99 and then they do the 30 centimeter. I got this one because Andy actually smashed our one that's downstairs, so I'm very excited to put this back up again. Yes, that is all I picked up in Home Bargains, so let's take these little bits downstairs, and I'm gonna be using them in my organization. Hopefully, I will definitely find somewhere for them to go. Okay, so it does match. How aesthetically pleasing is that? I just, that makes me, so very happy. I need to get some more of these printed as well. I got this made on eBay, I think, so I'll leave the link to this down below. You can get literally anything printed. You can also obviously buy like pre-made ones in store. In fact, I got a packet here, I'll show you. I actually have these from um, B&M. They were only two pounds. I showed you guys over on Instagram. And actually, I was due to do a giveaway. That's why I bought two packets of them. So I'm gonna do a giveaway, because I know they were really hard to come by. So if you would like to win this, head on over to the latest post over on my home Instagram page. Just give me a comment and a like on the latest post, whatever that may be. And you'll automatically be entered into that little secret giveaway over there. Well, it's not really secret, because I obviously am sharing it here, and I'm sure I'll share it there. But it's just a little one. Obviously, it's just a little giveaway. Like like there's nothing special about it, but it's always fun just to give back. Right, I'm gonna crack on with 
all this organization and I will show you guys after. So it is now three o'clock and I have cleaned everything. Obviously I've just realized as I show you, I've still got that left out. I've actually just used this for the first time. It's really good. I got it off cherries um, a while ago and it literally is just a sponge. And then there's like a paste underneath, but it's for cleaning stainless steel. The only problem is obviously the sponge you have to get wet. So I didn't want to put the lid back on cause it'll go all damp, but use that on my um, hob and it did a very good job. It is like extra shiny and I didn't even use my uh, baby oil trick on this today. So very happy with that result. We then have the lamb slow cooking. Like seriously, look how much juice has come off of that. But um, looking good, obviously and that most of that's fat. So we'll, that'll be drained away and it'll just be left with all the lovely flavors. I then have, I was going to make this, that I pulled out and we've got some gnocchi for later. So that's why those things are left out. Um, we need to open that together in a momento. I want to show you what I have done. I have done every cupboard. They've all been cleaned and anti-backed as well. And I am so happy with the results. This is the first cupboard. So we've got some bits down there. We've got all of my jars in color coordinated and different cuisine order. And then we've got all of the pasta here and all of my different cooking oils. And then we have the plates and placemats. And then I did manage to make a really cute little display of sweet treats. So we've got our biscuits, we've got some rice cakes and we've got my biscotti. So I'm kind of loving that setup. I then have the snack cupboard, which now looks like this. So we've got all of our loose crisps in this cake box because I need this cake box whenever I make cakes and bring it over to places, but obviously it's just annoying to store. So I'm gonna dual use it. And then I've got all of our like sweet treats and snacks in these stackable acrylic storages. These are from B&M. And then we have like poppadoms and um, prawn crackers and stuff and naan bread here. And then these are all of like our sweet treats. So we've got like my American sweet treats, like my Pillsbury um, cookies and my graham crackers, etc. And then I did my absolute best with this cupboard here. But I mean, it's still not ideal how I'd like it, but this hasn't really changed too much. I've just tidied up the spices a little bit. I really don't like my spice organization. It's just, when we first moved in, I bought them all from Ikea. I thought I'd love it. I bought these stickers from Ikea, uh, not Ikea, sorry, from um, online as well. And they're just like curling up and I'm just not super happy with them. So for now it's fine, but I'm thinking of actually getting a proper spice rack on the wall and with like slim, tall glass jars. This is the baking section here. So I've managed to massively minimize it. We have all of this stuff decanted. We have some like decorations for cakes and then we have all my other little pretty decorations and then just bits in there. So it's not ideal, but it's really annoying to work with a space like this that's deep because it's you don't want to chuck everything in the back because then you can't see it, but you do want the pretty stuff at the front and it just to look more organized. So I kind of really wish this was like a pull out drawer. That would have been way 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 better and then finally we have the last um larger cupboard here and this is what it looks like i completely changed the layout so there's basically no way that i could make the tins look nice i just felt that they were an eyesore as soon as you open the cupboard that's all you see is tin clutter so i decided to move them to the very very bottom it's still completely functional and i've put them into like sections of stuff like vegetables beans and then i've also put our um like pot noodle things there because they were too bulky in the plastic containers they were taking up way too much space i then just have some onions and some like little side bits here and then i have my instant stuff so we've got like instant noodles we've got macaroni cheese and we've got like couscous and then these are just some dips because that's where they fit 
And then we do have like my probably most used stuff, which is all of my like sachet mixes. So all of my like slow cooker things, sauces, marinades, and stir fry mixes. And they've all been in color coordinated order as well. It just works really well on the eye whenever you do anything color coordinated. And then this is the main section again, which again, I've kept really minimal. I've got some porridge in here. It's um, the individual ones in packets. I've got all of my different vinegars back there. This needs to be filled up with more cornflakes and then all of our sauces, which are on this little stackable two tier thing, which is really, really good. Again, I think this is from B&M or Home Bargains. I can't remember, actually, I think it was Home Bargains. This is just where we keep our bread that we're having at the moment. Nothing pretty, but it's very functional. And then the next one, again, is just more like condiment things. So I've got my like gravies and then I've got my jar things. So obviously these when they're opened they go in the fridge but I get through quite a lot of tartar sauce and mint sauce and we've got some peppers and stuffing mixes and everything like that. So finally the top one is like instant baking goods. So this is like all my packet mixes and things. They were in the cupboard down there but I decided to put them up here because I freed so much space up. And then here is my low calorie slash low carb um, noodles and rice and things like that in that one. So for the space, I feel like I kept it as minimal as I could with the stuff that I actually use every day. I don't know why I'm getting so out of breath today. I'm literally feel short of breath. Like my asthma's playing up. It's really annoying. Anyway, I also did sort out my cleaning cupboard, which was good. I cleaned out all of my food waste, put that away and then got just my two little things here. I'm on a real mission at the moment to use up products because I am fed up of having back stock, like I said. I just feel it's completely unnecessary. I'm at the shops like at least a couple of times a week. So it just seems silly to back stock things unless there was an incredible deal on something and I know that I'm gonna use it all the time. So yes, I am on a mission right now to use all product, but apart from that, we're quickly gonna take the dog on a dog walk because he's not been out and the rain has just stopped. And then, who knows? And voila, sauce blended up with some tomato puree, gnocchi pasta, and a can of lamb. Beautiful. Good morning, everybody. So it is the next day now. Of course, I come on when the kettle's on. Sorry I didn't catch up with you all yesterday. Obviously I just showed you dinner and then I showed you, well I showed you the finished of all the cupboards. Then we had dinner, which by the way, recommend. And you might be able to see as well, I did dye my hair. You've got to excuse this absolutely horrific hairline. It takes a while, a few washes just for this to go. It's just where it stains obviously your skin. But I've also got a very, very sharp widow's peak. That's what it's called. So um, I get a horrible, like it's really obvious. It looks like I've literally just painted my hair, but yeah, I just did my roots yesterday, so I needed to have that done. I totally forgot we didn't do the glass jar yesterday. So I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Let me just pop you up. I've seen these jars before. They are amazing. And the value for money is actually insane. Like, I've seen on some of these top, like, homeware websites that you're getting this size jar for, like, you're talking about £30 a piece. Um, let alone the slightly smaller jar here, which is usually about 20. Oh, I'm so glad to have this back. And he smashed it. And there we go. So as you can see, this is the 30 cm and this one's the 25. 25 also needs a good clean as well. So this is just how I like to have them. I just think the height variation in all of them look really good. By the way, this back one literally looks like it's part of the same thing, but actually that is from the range. I spotted one in the range again the other day, so they are current. Oh, you wanted to be um, on the video? Well, there you go. Have your moment. But yeah, I do like the mint imperials in them, but I just feel like with those being empty, it looks really strange. So if you've got any ideas of what I can put in these jars, I kind of just liked them all clear, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I thought it looked extremely minimal and I like that they're on the corner as well. Eventually I might move this set up onto a nice coffee table when I have it in the middle there. But for now, I love it in this corner. But you could put like marshmallows in there, you could put rice cakes, but the thing is, is they aren't airtight, like I've said, so I just feel like it's a waste of food, um, plus they could go a bit manky, especially with it being summer. So yeah, but this is the little setup here and I love it. And we're heading to the beach. You 
looking forward to it, Baba. It's been a while since we went to the beach with you. And we went on holiday in April, I think. So I totally forgot to vlog the walk. We were too engrossed in the whole walk. It was a bit of a kerfuffle, but we actually found a good parking space on the residential roads because as you will know, any seaside town takes the absolute Michael when it comes to parking, but I didn't think it would be as bad as six pounds minimum. I don't know what I was thinking, but I certainly wasn't thinking it was gonna be that. We were never gonna be here for an hour, so it was really, really frustrating. So we, thankfully it paid off. Andy drove around the back streets and we managed to find somewhere. And obviously we're here to walk anyway, so that worked out quite well. As you can see, the sun is shining. We've taken little man on the beach and he's so tired now. You can see him panting away. He's had plenty of water and now he's gonna have a little sleep because we're driving up to North Bristol now because I need to go to the Apple store because I am desperate for a new smartwatch. I put it out on my Instagram and said that my Fitbit died. Um, when I did all my fitness videos and everything, I've always told you guys Fitbit has been my number one. There's been nothing wrong with it. I've had that thing for over three years and it has been fantastic. I live with my Fitbit every single day. I feel lost without it. Took it to the US because I knew we'd be doing a lot of walking. It worked perfectly fine in the US. And then as soon as we got back to the UK and I went to go put it on charge, the screen just went green and malfunctioned and I tried to Google the channel, like what it might be and fixes and basically there's no chance of fixing it. I lean now towards Apple because I've got everything Apple. I've got my laptop, my iPhone and everything. So it makes sense that it all obviously can, can work together. Um, so I'm between a few different ones and I'm gonna go and see them today. So I would have ordered it online like Andy told me to do yesterday because it's literally next day delivery, but I don't know which one I want and I don't know what size screen I want. I think I want the bigger one. So long story short, I'm gonna go to the store now. I think it's time for an Apple Watch. I'm gonna go to the store and have a look. And then we're gonna go for a nice pub lunch somewhere. And Jimmy's at the mall. Jerry's at the mall, but you can't come in, Baba, because they're not dog friendly. Shame on them. Even though Cabot Circus just went dog friendly, which is amazing. Like, you can literally take your dog in Zara and H&M and the Apple Store. So, well done, Cabot Circus. The mall, shame on you. Of course, I come on the busiest day. That's the 40. And that's the 44. Definitely gonna go for the 44. And I think we're gonna go for this Nike band. Lots of options though. Right, so what we have is And we're good to go. Where's my Jimmy? Jimmy! Jimmy! Hey Baba! You alright? He loves Griggs. He loves cakes. He loves cakes. Again, bad vlogger. Sorry, I think Jerry just got loads of snout juice on the lens. Uh, bad vlogger, but forgot to film our lunch. It looked like this anyway, it was over on Instagram. And it was gorgeous. We're, in on, we're at the Inn on the Green. And we're having a pint. And then we're probably gonna go to another pub. For one more drink, and then home. <laughs> And we are back home. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna sign it off here because I'm conscious it's gonna be a long one. Obviously we've done everything in here. We've done the haul from America. We've obviously, I've showed you that light. Um, I've also got the next vlog coming, which is very exciting to do with all of those deliveries that I got, which if you haven't seen my hallway currently, I can't remember if I showed you or not, but we got a lot of deliveries there and that's for a very exciting video that is coming, the next vlog that is coming. So make sure that you are subscribed if you aren't to this channel. If you do like vlogs, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and then obviously hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. And then I can't remember just to sign off because I know I'll get questions. I did end up getting um, the Apple Watch that I showed you guys in store. I went for the Nike edition. Nike, Nike, whatever. And I did end up going for the 44 millimeter. I'm really glad I went in store because I literally, did, I, I had no idea about the size differences. And I, once I seen the 40 next to the 44, 100% going straight for the 44. The 40 felt absolutely tiny. So 
that is the experience you get not just shopping online and that is exactly why I am still an in-store person. What are you? Do you prefer shopping online or do you prefer shopping in-store if you can? Okay, and on that note, I will leave you guys to it. If you want to follow me on a day-to-day -day basis, don't forget to go over onto my Instagram, which is Bella Bambina XX. And then if you also like all the home content, and trust me, if you want a sneak peek of what is in those boxes, then you definitely want to be following my home Instagram, which is Bella Bambina Home. I am going to make a nice cup of tea to continue on with the day, and I will leave you all to it. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me, and I will see you all in my next video next Wednesday. Ciao. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution.